Hey guys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever you see today, and welcome to, welcome back to the Ultimate 80s Ranking, where I go from beginning to most recent in their official discography, song by song, give my thoughts, and then put into a list of most favourite to least favourite, which looks like that, Wonderland, Symphony Number no. 9, Symphony Number no. Number 9, I can't speak today, Symphony, Symphony Number no. 9, there you go, God, when she got there, um, was the last time we checked out, I love the original, Wonderland, Symphony Number no. 9, you know what I'm trying to say. It was great as well. <laughs> Why sound a tongue twister to me? Um, interestingly enough, you know, going from one, like, updated, changed, different version of a classic 80s song to another, because this is Answer Ode to Joy. Answer, guys, uh, I'm just going to bring up the list of myself, just so I can see myself here, is another song where I look at it and I go, how on earth aren't you higher? Because uh, Answer I have listened to so many times um, over the last few months, and it's grown and grown and grown on me. Um, I adore the the hook, the vocal melody of that song. Like I think it's stunning uh, and everything like that. And it, it should be way higher, to be totally honest with you. I don't know why it's not higher. But again, 80s discography, folks. Um, so this is Ode to Joy. I don't think I've heard this version, because of course with Symphony Number no. 9, got right that time, um, I'd heard the Kingdom, I'd seen the Kingdom perform, so I had heard that version before. Uh, I don't think I've heard this one. But then again, I've checked out quite a few Kingdom performances now. Um, Patreon link in the description. You can see them there. Um, I can't remember if this was one. Not sure. Maybe I'll recognise it when I hear it. But Answer is a great song anyway. So, uh, as I said before, guys, when it comes to different versions, if a version is different enough, if it's on an official release, uh, if it's long enough, uh, like for example, Wave Overture was a minute and a half, which doesn't count doesn't count towards my rankings because it is just an overture and everything like that. Not I don't mean that in a demeaning way, but you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, this is Ode to Joy. Answer, Ode to Joy. Don't know why I said that, Doug like James Bond. They did do it for Kingdom, I just saw it in the recommended, so... The vocals on the song. song. Have I seen this Kingdom performance? I think I have, you know? This is amazing, this anyway. This is the vocal melody I was on about. Oh, the operatic singer in the back. Oh, I jumped the gun. Oh, the song's amazing. Why, why isn't it higher? The original. I, this this version's amazing, guys. Not going to be but why isn't the original higher? I don't think that that verse from Hong Jong was in the original. That guitar. That nah, vocal melody. I, oh, I love that. Oh. That guitar sounds so good with this song. Ew. This is taken from the live as well. Oh, 
Watch your mouth, bro. Oh, operatic voices. Choir voices. Taken, taken directly from the Kingdom performance, I'd imagine. Um, have I seen that performance? It's really bugging me. It's really bugging me. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to put in the comments. I'm going to, I'm going to pin, put a pin comment up if I have or haven't seen um, that performance. I, I think I have. I think I have. Um, I'm actually... What I'm doing right now... <laughs> I'm actually watching it on mute... Uh, to see if I can recognise and everything like that. Because that's the thing, is like, I have seen a good few Kingdom performances from 80s at this point, and all of them have been unbelievable. Uh, uh, quite, uh, uh, not great viewing, I know, for you guys here. It's just, I need to know. I need to know. Uh, I think I did. I think, I'm, I'll put a pin comment in to confirm it, guys, because it's bugging the hell out of me. Um, here's the thing, is that, you know, one of my rules is that if a song is has got an official release, on one of the, when in this case the groups uh, releases and stuff like that, it counts towards a ranking, right? Uh, and I'm so glad that this does count for a ranking, because oh my word, um, you talk about epics. Funny, I mentioned this for the Symphony Number no. Nine Wonderland the episode that just been. You know, I I love epic music. I love cinematic music. I love orchestral music. Um, Op operatic vocals give me chills. Choir vocals always make that song, that piece of music, more epic, in my opinion. And when that song is already great, again, the original should be higher, guys. The original should be higher than it is. I don't know why it isn't. Uh, that's just me. Me. I don't know. I don't know why it isn't. Um, but when you put an already great song and you put those elements on top of it like that, and it still has the essence of what the original song was, and it's taken to another level. That's pretty awesome, dude. That's pretty awesome. I said with Wonderland Symphony Number no. Nine, I I adore it. I adore that version. Uh, there is one section where I prefer the original, which is the last dance break, because uh, it just gives me chills every time. When it comes to Answer Ode to Joy, I just straight up prefer that to the original, which I already love. Uh, when it comes to Answer, guys. So looking at my list. Um, looking at my list, I uh, obviously starting from top to bottom here. Uh, I would. Uh, I'm. Um. 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 Um, I would put it, oh, oh my god, because here's the thing, is that if you ask me today, would I put Take Me Home above Inception, I probably wouldn't put Inception above Take Me Home, 
I need to lean on someone. Uh... Oh, it's a struggle, this one is. Because even Mist, I, I, I love Mist, and I don't know... I'd put it above Wonderland Symphony number 9, I could say that straight away, guys. So it's it's this top three that I'm looking at. I'm going to put that above Mist and below Inception. Honestly, guys, that Take Me Home, Take Me Home Inception thing is a bit of an issue for me now, actually, because I love Take Me Home, don't get me wrong. But I would say I pref like or because of replay value and everything like that. I put Inception above Take Me Home, and I put this is the thing is that answer or to dry. I'd, I'd honestly put above Take Me Home, and in a perfect world, <laughs> making this so dramatic. In a perfect world, it would be Inception top, then answer or to joy. Then take me home, then missed, etc., etc. But because uh, of I just got to take it as as it goes, I, I got to take that into account. I would put it above miss. So that's what I'm doing now, guys. I'm just inputting it and putting it above uh, missed and below Inception. Wow, with the last two songs, guys. I know they're like epic versions of already wonderful songs uh, but that's two that go into the top five straight away um, but it is going to bug me if I've checked that out or not um, but I will let you guys know in a pinned comment if I have I'm sure I have because I've checked out quite a few Kingdom performances from 80s it's just, I'm looking at the thumbnail with Hong Jung and I'm like have I seen that? I don't know, I'll find out <sighs> regardless it was it was incredible. Oh, that gave me a headache, that did. Oh, that gave me a headache. That was tough. Oh, that could have been very different. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, guys, when we get caught or fully caught up and I give you that, like, comparative. If you asked me on that day, what would the full, like, ranking look like? That's going to be a very interesting day, that. Uh, so anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Oh, what am I doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't done. We ain't done. Because uh, while I'm not ranking this, still got to experience, right? Uh, and everything like that. Experience the instrumentals, guys. So let me search this. This is Outro Over the Horizon. Horizon. Words. Oh, then again, I just went through a complete headache with what just happened there. So yeah, won't be ranking this course, guys. It is an instrumental. Um, but... I, you know what I mean, like an overture, or in, or in this case an outro, uh, but I still want to check it out, because like, these instrumentals are awesome. Desire. By the way, this release, fear, hesitation, great release. Standing on the edge of where confusions have led us, we are gathered here. The tears and sweat we shed comes back to a river, and it pulls us to the vast world. Can we find it? You know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. Wandering around 
morning fever, we now rise towards a new path, to a place where I can find myself, to a place where our treasure lies. Treasure. Uh, the years where I'm going to say, if that was made into a full song with vocals and everything like that, like, you know, if you put two minutes onto that bad boy, oh my god, that was an incredible instrumental. Like, all the different elements come together, the guitar, the epic orchestral elements being right there in the back as well, like, really hard instrumental, tells a story. Some of these instrumental guys, it's just like, oh, if they, if they made these into full songs, I swear. Uh, but now I can say, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, that can be a great idea if you want to see more ideas on the channel. Uh, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer the original answer or do you prefer the Ode to Joy version? And please subscribe because plenty of 80s on the channel already in the 80s reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.